If like pink had a smell, it'd be this. My lip combo of the year. And last but not least, we have my favorite jeans. Hi guys, what's up, it's Bella. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're brand new. I'm gonna be filming one of my favorite end of the year videos, which is my top favorites from each category of the year. This includes makeup, lifestyle, fashion, perfume, hair, all of those fun categories, and I am just so excited for this video. So if you watch me for a while, you know that I try out a ton of new items during the year, and there's also a part of me that just like loves sticking with good items. So I have my holy grails, everything that I've been using for the past year that you need, and I have not stopped using. If you're excited for this video, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. Follow my Pinterest, Instagram, and TikTok that are listed on the screen and linked down below in the description box and every single item I talk about is going to be linked down below for direct purchase so you don't have to do the searching on the internet I do all the work for you all you have to do is click the link and shop away grab your popcorn grab a drink let's get started it's gonna be a long video but very informative and I think that you're gonna find some really good things in this video as well if you're only interested in certain categories I'll put the timestamps down below just click on it it'll take you directly to that category that you're looking for Let's start this video out with makeup because I do love me some makeup, even though it's not the main focal point of my channel anymore. It is still something that I love and I still utilize makeup every day and I still really enjoy how therapeutic it is to do your makeup. First two products go hand in hand. We have the Shiseido Lash Curler. I love this so much. I was always using the Surat Beauty one and when I got my hands on this one, I just felt like I was able to get a like a more intense curl and it lasts longer and I'm able to get as close as possible to my lash line and honestly I just like this gadget a little bit better and it just it's great 10 out of 10 and to pair with the Shiseido lash curler the mascara that has taken the cake for me this year it's the cherry on top is the rare beauty mascara by Selena Gomez I love her and I also love this mascara and I'm dabbling more into a lot of the items that she has but this one it's amazing. It's super lengthening, very thickening. It doesn't dry out on me and it doesn't clump on me either. I find that I can go in with two to three coats of this mascara and I really get the desired amount of like a uh, plump that I'm looking for in my lashes, if that makes sense. And I just really love it. The wand is also perfect. She's nice and thick, but she's not too big and she's not really messy either. It's just, it's a great little match. And when you pair these two items together, it doesn't really get better than this. I wear concealer on a daily basis and I have to have something that is able to set it really nicely but also look super natural and not be heavy. So this is where this item comes into play. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Medium Skin Fetish Under Eye Powder. I have gone through, I kid you not, probably six to eight of these this year. I love it so much. I love packing this under my eye with the nice like little thin brush and I love it. It really brightens my under eye. It sets it. It doesn't allow any creasing throughout the day. It doesn't really provide an exact color, although this is the shade medium because I am a medium skin tone. It still is like a nice like little sheen under the eyes and it's just really brightening and it looks good with any concealer. So if you're looking for something really nice and light and you don't have to bake your under eyes, this is going to be your go-to. I have deeply fallen in love with Charlotte Tilbury this year, even more than I have been, and uh, these two products are my babies, and I love them. So they're both going to be like wand kind of things. So this is the contour wand. I have it in the shade medium deep, and I love it. The other one doesn't really show up in my skin tone, but this one, it's beautiful, really nice, and easy to blend. I know liquid contour can be super intimidating sometimes, but I've been using it so much this year, and just like look how like nice and precise that is it adds a really beautiful kind of look i can do a like a like updated makeup routine for you guys if you guys want me to i just did one a few weeks back but i can do like an everyday makeup routine and show you guys all of the cream products that i use and how i blend them out so if you guys want to see that let me know down below and the other item from her is going to be the beauty light wand it's the easy highlighter in the shade spotlight I love this. I find that when I have cream products and I layer powder on top of it, they last longer. I get a more uh, beautiful and intense effect and I just really like it overall. So this goes right up here on the top of my cheekbones, on my nose, and on the top of my cupid's bow. I blend it out with a beauty blender and then I put some highlighter on top of it and I just really love the look and it's so beautiful, super easy to blend and it's not sparkly. It's a beautiful like natural, almost like I'm sweaty but I'm glowy look. I really love it. My lip combo of the year, she has been utilized so much. I've been through a few of these each. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner. I love it so much. It's a really beautiful nude. 
I prefer a more neutral tone rather than a pink tone on my lip. I feel like it just matches my lips a little bit better and my hair and my skin tone. So I really love this so much and these lip liners last all day on you. Super easy to use and I just like love the pigment that they give. And the lipstick I pair it with is going to be the Yes Honey lipstick. She's also a beautiful nude. You can go a little bit darker with the lip liner if you want to for a more intense effect but on a daily basis I prefer something that just kind of looks seamless and it kind of goes together. These are beautiful. This lipstick is really nice and dewy. It doesn't dry out your lips. I am just in love. Head over heels for these two products. And last but not least, a newfound love that I have just greatly appreciated this year has been Makeup by Mario's new makeup line and I've dabbled really heavily into it and I'm really like shocked by the quality of the items but my favorite item is going to be his blush and it's the poppy pink blush. I have gotten so many people onto this thing and I have kind of damaged the inside. She looks a little done with. I have this on right now. And I love it. It's the perfect shade for me and my skin tone. And it is just so pigmented. It lasts all day on me. And blush typically does fade because it's one of the last things that is applied on your face. But the way it fades throughout the day is really beautiful. But at the end of the day, there is still a little bit there. So it does last. It's really soft, really pretty on the cheeks. And I just love it. All right, those are all of my makeup products that I've been loving this year. Of course, there's a few more that I've been loving, but I wanted to keep it short and sweet and kind of get to the point on those products. All right, so next up, I want to hit the lifestyle category. Um, there's a few items in here that I have used, like with many avenues this year, and I really love them. So we're going to start off with my new favorite running shoes because I work out all the time and I have to have good supportive shoes. These are the OnCloud Nova trainers. I purchased these from Free People. They also have them in white, which I'm waiting on. I sized up in these, so I have a US Women's 8.5. Typically, I would go for an 8. These are just great. Really supportive on my feet. They're great for high intensity workouts and also smaller walks. They have great, great support. I have plantar fasciitis on my feet, so I have something that has like a good arch in it and something that doesn't like make my feet tingle even more. And these have just absolutely blown my mind away and I really love them. Of course, I had to mention my water bottle. This is the Blue Lemon Back to Life water bottle. I love this thing. I have a bunch of the colors. I love using this for workout. I just find that the way the water comes out of the top, it just makes you want to drink more of all the colors. It keeps my water really cold for hours and hours and hours. I also like to use this when I run errands and stuff and just so I can have something that has a cap. It's just a really great water bottle and I love it a lot. So this is the Skims Cozy Blanket. This actually just came out like recently, like within this past like month. And it has been a holy grail for me. I've been using Barefoot Dreams blankets for as long as I can remember. But this blanket honestly is so much better in my opinion. So I have it in the black color. I think it's called like, not ochre, oh, onyx. I think this is called onyx. So I have it in this shade and I also have it in a white version, which I think is called bone. But these blankets are so soft. I love her whole cozy collection. I have her onesie and I love that as well. Just great blankets. They're really great to snuggle up in and I always have to have a blanket when I sleep. I can't just sleep with like my comforter on top of me. I have to have like another blanket and this is my blanket of choice. Also, if you guys want to see like a best of skins video, I would love to do that because I'm a huge skins advocate. So if you guys want to see something where I pull like the best items that I found from skins, let me know. I can't sleep without a eye mask and that has been something I've discovered within the past like two to three years. I just can't sleep without one. So I've always, I uh, can't speak. I've always used the brand Slip, but recently they came out with a Slip eye contour mask. So it has little spaces on the inside for your lashes because I have really long lashes and they just got so flat with the other ones and this is perfect. It still gives me the same effect, helps me sleep really well but at the same time it doesn't damage my eyelashes and flatten them. So I love this, but I recommend this if you have lash extensions, naturally long lashes, or you just don't want to damage your lashes, get the slip eye contour mask because it has like little spaces on the inside to where you can open your eyes fully and you aren't affected with your eyelashes being long. And of course my iPad Pro, this is the newest one. It came out I think around summer of this year and I love it. I use it to film all my videos. I plan out every single video on this. I do all of my school on this. It's just been the best thing that's helped me stay super organized. I'm really thankful that I got this. And I also really love the case that it came with. Well, it didn't come with it. I bought it separately, but it's the Magic Keyboard 
really love this as well and i also have the apple pencil somewhere i typically tend to lose it a lot it's my bad but yeah a great investment i love it so much it has helped me in so many ways and i just feel a lot more organized when i have this ipad near me because i'm able to plan out a lot of things and all of my college notes are on this as well I am a perfume person, so this category is one of my favorites, and I was super selective of the two that I picked for this category, two that have really taken me away this year, and I've been using so much, and I've been through a lot of bottles. First up, we have the Huda Beauty K. Ali Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25. This is such a unique scent, and I just don't find anything else that smells like it. So the fragrance notes on this are pink pepper, bergamot, saffron, it also has royal lily, it's got vanilla, sandalwood, Bulgarian rose, and a central musk golden amber scent. And the way I would describe this is just really intense woman-y, but also like when you first smell it, I feel like you get like a girly vibe. I don't know, it's probably not everyone's cup of tea, but I really love this. And the saffron just honestly pulls it together for me. And the bottle is perfect and I love this. Like it is so good. And then we've got this one, which has been an absolute staple for me. It's the Valentino Born in Roma perfume. I love this. I've been through many travel sizes. I also have like a little roller one that I take with me on the go in my purse. And I've been through a lot of these big ones this year. I just find myself consistently using this because it's very like pink slash girly. If like pink had a smell, it'd be this. But it also gives me like I am feminine and I have a lot of power, but... I also have like a little sweet side to me. So the notes in this are going to be vanilla bourbon, black currant, and jasmine flowers. And it is part of the Floriental scent family. And I love it a lot. Go give this a little sniff in Sephora. They always have Valentino. And sadly, this perfume is not available like in store to smell, which I hate because I want to smell a lot more of hers. But go smell this one at least. And you can always buy this and return it online in Sephora. Alrighty guys, we're at our second to last category and this is one of my favorites because this year I really take an initiative to take care of my hair and really understand that hair is very important and we should be doing our best to take care of it. So I have fully made that into play this year. So I have actually been using this product for the past five years, if not a little bit longer. It's just the Moroccan oil treatment oil. I love this stuff so much i've been through bottles and bottles i think i go through about four full bottles of this a year because i use oil in my hair two to three times a day because that's what keeps it healthy and i have just found that this is the best oil for my hair i have really thick long hair and it's very soft though but i don't know i just find that it gets like really tangled quickly so i love this oil so much it's my tried and true and it also smells amazing i put it in my hair when it's wet or when it's dry this hairbrush has been something i've used the past four months and I love it it's from amazon and it's called like a boar bristle brush and it has helped my hair so much so i had never really understand the importance of a good hairbrush i've always used like wet brushes and whatnot not that those are bad but i never really understood how much of an effect a hairbrush can have on your hair so i started using this and i have noticed a huge difference the kind of whole point in a boar bristle brush is for the oils and your roots to be able to be distributed properly throughout the ends of your hair in the middle of your hair to give a better effect because those oils are healthy oils that you want to have everywhere else. This is a brush that you do have to clean as other brushes as well. So how I clean this is I take a little bit of shampoo, I put it on here, I rub it out, but before I obviously take the hair out of the thing. And then I just kind of let it do its thing because a lot of bacteria and hair stuff grows on top of this and it's not cute, but it just is great. It makes my hair so shiny, so soft. It detangles so well and honestly it has cut my hair so healthy these past few months and i will never not use this brush i just won't these products go hand in hand so we have the dry bar detox dry shampoo but it has to be in the lush scent i love this dry shampoo i go a week to a week and a half without washing my hair that's what also keeps it healthy if you want a hair care routine video and tips i will also do that let me know but i just love this so much and i found that it is the best dry shampoo for me and yeah, it's just amazing. It soaks in my oils and doesn't feel heavy and it has the best smell. The only thing about it that I haven't found that I've loved is like a little bit of a white cast. I have super, super dark hair and everything shows up on it. If Even if it's like a dark tone, sometimes it does show up. Or if it's not a dark tone, it just doesn't give me like the best dry shampoo effect. So I still use this even knowing that it might create a little bit of a white cast. So I have to go in with a root cover up. 
than that is so I can still have nice clean hair that has dry shampoo in it but also I'm not sacrificing the white cast on top of my hair in certain lighting like that's not cute so I found this at Sephora on like the little to-go section like when you're checking out it's by Rita Hazan New York it's called the root concealer touch-up spray and I have dark brown slash black and I do my dry shampoo I brush it out I put this on top of my roots and then I just take my brush and I just like brush it out so it's not like super super dark up there even though it doesn't really make my hair any darker it just covers up the whiteness from the dry shampoo she has a bunch of colors so i recommend this for anyone who uses dry shampoo and you still notice that white cast because it's really hard to get rid of this stuff has been a lifesaver and i will always use it now and last but not least i have love this baby to its extent this year it is the dyson air wrap i love it so much i got it around this time last year i think or it was the beginning of this year Either way, I have used it a crap ton and I have found that it is my favorite hair accessory that I own. So I have everything in here. I would say it's nice and neat, but it's really not. I mean, it's not horrible. Like this is not the right way and the cord's not correct, but whatever. So what I do is I also have the Dyson hair dryer and I find that I don't really need that because I use this to dry my hair because you have a hair dryer attachment. When I'm halfway dry with my hair, I then go in with this attachment, which is like a comb and it also straightens my hair at the same time. So that I really technically have less heat damage at the end. You also have this beautiful attachment for like little blowouts. And you get four attachments for curls in your hair. You get two with the large barrel and then you get two with the smaller barrel. And yeah, I just love this thing so much. Of course, it's going to be an investment and it's going to be something that's really expensive. But I have found that it has many uses. It literally straightens my hair, it dries my hair, and it can curl my hair. Like that's three things in one. And when you add up three different things to the price, like if you add a, a hair straightener, a dryer, and a curler, it honestly ends up equaling this price, but this is better for your hair, you know? So I love it. And of course I still straighten my hair as well sometimes like the next day because my hair is naturally like curly, like beach wavy, but I don't know. I love it so much. All right, you guys, we are on to our last category, which is the fashion category. You guys know I'm a fashion queen. I love it so much. I have reels on Instagram, TikToks, and I also do dedicated longer videos here on my YouTube channel. So I'd say I have quite a lot of fashion favorites, but I did keep it minimal because I really wanted to kind of highlight the things that really made an impact in the fashion world this year and my personal style. These are the Nike Dunk Low Black and White 2021s. I got these off StockX. These have been great to style with many outfits. It really elevates your outfit. I love the classic look of black and white. It's just so crisp and nice. Easy to style. Anyone can wear these. You can wear them with a dress, with jeans, a skirt, so many ways. Or with sweatpants, which I also do quite frequently. I would definitely claim these black and white dunk clothes as an essential in my closet. And they have been there for me with many outfits and I greatly appreciate them. Next up we have these Steve Madden boots. These are the taller version of the Barclay ones that I have raved about so many times on my channel. And these are very in style right now. They're like chunky Chelsea boots. And Steve Madden always comes through with the best shoe options at a much affordable price than the original kind of creator. I love these. They're chunky. I definitely would size up one full size in them. They are elastic right here. Although I do have really thick calves and I barely fit in these, so be careful if you have thicker calves than me, if you guys have seen my calves. That's so random, but just be careful of sizing for these because they do run a little bit tighter up here in the calf area. I style them many times on my Instagram, also in the black pair, so be sure to follow me over there for some styling inspo on all of these items I talk about. These two Zara tops have been an essential for me. They were in my first Zara haul that I ever did on my channel, which you guys loved, and I'm a Zara queen, so we're gonna keep it that way for a very long time, but I will have the code on the screen for you guys to search for these tops. But I have it in white and I also have it in green. I also have it in black as well, but those are dirty because I wear them so much. These tops are great, uh, very essentials. You can dress them up, dress them down. I love pairing big chunky gold accessories with them, especially on the neckline because it just looks so good and clean. I would say go up a size in these if you want to be able to wear a bra with them because you know, if you're true to size and you wear a bra, it might come up a little bit more cropped. And I'm a 34D, so I do recommend going up a size. I am a large in these tops. And last but not least, we have my favorite jeans. These are the Holly Asymmetrical Jeans from Princess Polly. They are asymmetrical because of the button closure in the front. They give kind of that V effect. I love the denim material. These are just a great quality denim. I have them in black, white, the gray wash, and also this color as well. I have them in all the colors that Princess Polly sells. So easy to style. They have like a kind of bigger 
legs so they are like a bit more of like a boyfriend slash mom jean i would say i just love them they're perfect they have gone through probably 50 plus washes and they have held up so well and they only get better with wear all right you guys that is it for this video i love doing these and i'm going to keep doing these monthly throughout the next year so be sure to stay tuned for those videos and also the other amazing content that i am producing it is so good i'm so passionate about it and my channel and reaching people spreading the word of god and also incorporating fashion beauty and lifestyle it's just it's it's a passion of mine that I will forever continue. My quote of the day is, everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. Be kind always. This is something that I'm gonna be honest with. I struggle in certain situations with this that your waiter isn't being as nice as you want your waiter to be, right? But you have to think, maybe they just went through a really bad breakup before they came to work. I always look for the best kind of scenario out of a situation that I don't feel like is the best because I feel like sometimes that really strengthens my mindset and you never know what a person is going through. No one voices everything that they're going through. So when you just spread a word of kindness or you compliment someone or you're just nice to them even though they're having a bad day but they still had to show up for work, it just shows your character more and honestly, it probably makes them feel 10 times better. So be nice no matter what. You never know what silent battle someone is currently going through. I love you guys so much. Happy New Year and you're gonna be seeing this the week of Christmas. So Merry Christmas. You guys are my favorite people on this planet and I will see you guys in my very next video. Bye guys.